Nearly 20,000 kids and teens in the state of Texas are in the foster care system, but the state has seen a decline in the number of CPS caseworkers. One third of them left their job just last year. The reason? Burnout and low staffing. Christina, the loss of caseworkers is impacting foster kids locally. Well, yeah, Crystal, foster children need these CPS caseworkers to help with their placement. But when kids are without that proper placement, they could end up having to be housed in other living situations. There is a shift in foster care just in general across the entire state. With lots of change coming from all directions in the foster care system, one of those shifts happening in the system is the decline of caseworkers in the state, with one third of them leaving their job in 2022, which is something even noticed here locally. I just know that there's a lot of other areas of CPS workers that are coming into our area to help cover cases. So anytime that's happening, you know that there's a low number of caseworkers in our area. Um, when individuals that work for CPS in San Angelo or other areas have to come in and help, um, thankfully they do, but that also means the workforce is down here locally. CASA of West Texas works closely with these kids and CPS workers as well, and they have noticed the turnover's impact. So the other issue is um, with all of these changes in foster care across the state, some of these high needs children um, are without placement. And so it is a major issue. Um, it really just depends on the situation with the child. This ongoing problem ends up trickling down and is currently impacting foster kids by now leaving some of them without proper placement and having to be put in hotels. The kids who are often referred to the Department of Family Protective Services are also older teens with behavioral needs. A lot of the issues um, involve behavioral health and just different things that are going on with those specific children. And because there is a lack of placements in Texas and because of the changes with community-based care, it's caused a lot of issues, which has led to those children being in without a placement. And now in 2022, over a thousand kids in the system spent at least one night in an unlicensed foster facility like a hotel. Crystal.